Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the world of Plant Boy. Today, I have a reading in regards to somebody you're thinking of, whoever this is. Where is this relationship going towards? Where is this relationship headed? Where is this connection going? Okay, what's the future of this connection? What's the future of this relationship? So what's happening with this relationship moving forward? Let us see. I will be using the Shadowscape Tarot to read for you today. I will be showing you stones individually and then I'll show you the stones all together so you can pick according to your intuition because I am here using my intuition to help you but I hope that you also use your own intuition to help yourself throughout the reading because this is a general reading. This is not for anybody specific. This is for the general public. This is also a timeless reading so whenever you find this it shall apply. Timestamps will be below in the description and in the comments section. It's a beautiful day today. How is the weather where you are and where are you? Is it sunny? Is it cold? Is it cloudy? Came from school and where I was in school is very cold but now it's very warm and hot. So I'm just curious to where uh, you guys are and how the weather is doing there. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the weather, whether it's nice or um, enjoying the indoors if it's not that nice, enjoying your own selves. Thank you so much for coming through. And um, yeah, let's get to the stones. Here I have the stones for you to choose out of. Here we have stone number one. This is a nice flat stone. It's very smooth. I like the way this stone feels. Like it was part of another stone, but broke off and smoothed out by itself. Stone number one. Now stone number two is this small speckled brown stone. Orange reddish hues to it, but it's definitely speckled. Number three, we have this super flat stone. It's a lighter stone, gray. All right, so now you can pause the video, focus on the intention, take a deep breath, close your eyes, open your eyes, and pick according to your intuition. Which stone is calling out to you? Which stone do you feel most drawn to? Take as much time as you need. Now let us begin. Hello, number one. Welcome to your reading. Let's shuffle your cards and see where this connection is leading to in the future. Where is this connection headed? What is going on with this connection, this relationship? The future of this relationship. Let's get like five cards, number one. Future of this relationship. I feel like number one, you two have this energy between you that's very wanting to move forward the intentions are there the excitement is there something about this that is stressful and the intention of wanting to move forward seems very far like i get this feeling of wanting to have this this connection moving forward in like passion and excitement but the excitement isn't there the excitement feels far away almost gone but it's still, there's still this potential for something to be um, rekindled or something to be uh, lit up with interest, okay? So if you guys did not have something in the past and something, you know, created this mental instability between you two, I feel like it's just a new relationship. There might be stresses and stressors on the mind. But this is something new. This is something where you guys want to make sure you're taking the right steps. I feel like you guys are mutually considering um, how to move about each other. Like you want to move forward, but you have to consider how to do it and what's going to come out of this. I feel like you guys are focused on yourselves. I feel like you guys are focused on something um, individually. I feel like maybe there's some things that were said or some situation that was done and I feel like you guys think it's bigger than what it is and I feel like you think that maybe um, the repercussions or the consequences of this situation or what was said or what was done, I feel like that is um, blown out in a bigger proportion in your head. 
I feel like there's still this light there. There's still this um, excitement and this need to want to move forward. And there's this interest and there's still that light there. But like I said, it feels far away. But there is that want and that um, interest to move forward, that desire. That's what it is. There's that desire to move forward. But there's um, a step back to take like some silence and some time alone I'm feeling like there's some time alone some time to understand and to really know what you want and where you want to go okay what to follow but i feel like this is all for yourselves i feel like this relationship is something that you guys are learning from uh for yourselves individually it has potential but I feel like you guys are the ones that are blocking it. Like, I feel like you guys are causing this, um, this block. I don't think it's anything like that's dramatically um, stopping the relationship. I don't think anything is dramatically causing you to step away. I feel like it's more your guys' thoughts and what's not really there. Okay, like your own stressors, your own anxieties towards this person. I feel like this is mutual. I feel like you guys have a lot of things going on. I feel like there's like that personal aspect of wanting to strive for yourself. But then you have this interest of wanting this sexual, passionate, um, fun relationship with another person. But then it's like once this person kind of comes about, you get kind of um, flustered in what you truly want and what you know what, where you should go. Like you have a destination set and this person is kind of just like on the sidelines, I feel. And then you kind of stop and you're interested but then once you get caught up on the sidelines you kind of know that you should keep going towards your destination that's where i'm feeling this relationship is headed like there's a bigger destination there's somewhere that is um calling out to you there's something calling out to you there's something that you want something else i feel like there's an exterior thing to this um I feel like maybe a lot of you just want this just to have it, but it's not something that is truly for you. It's something that you're thinking about too much or that's stressing you too much or it doesn't really feel right. Um, but there's definitely that excitement and that need. Like, I feel like this can lead to something great, but is there potential for this to be deeper than what you want it to be? It seems exciting. It seems uh, like there's a lot there that you can learn. I feel like there's a lot to learn about yourselves. I feel like there's a lot to learn about this person and I feel like you guys are learning a lot about each other, but it's more personal. I see this leading to another path. Like I feel like you're on your way with this person and then you're gonna find something else or someone else or a different uh, passions. There's like something with you that you are striving for but you're thinking about this person i feel like this person isn't necessarily a necessity or something you truly want it's just there uh, there's something else that's calling you that's more important if you really wanted to you can make this happen it's just i feel like there's something else that's there that's telling you like no maybe there's someone else maybe there's someone else calling out to you maybe you should focus on yourself i feel like there's a group of people like a family thing involved that you're um tied to maybe this is somebody that you're tied to through marriage or tied through to relationships but it's not going to lead to something greater it's something you want to escape from this is like a family thing that you're trying to escape from. Or maybe you have your own family things going, so you're trying to find an escape through this person, but this is not the right escape. There's something else that is calling you. There's something else that's needed. Okay, there's something else that you should be doing. This is internal stuff. This is like your passion, what you're meant to do. This is what is calling out to you internally. You know, like what you want to do. This is not somebody, this is not somebody calling out to you. This is not a situation calling out to you. This is you internally wanting to move forward for yourself. Okay, this is not something coming to you. This is you making the decision. I feel like there's a decision to be made. A lot of passion moving forward. I feel like there's a lot of potential for sex and lust, passion and fun, excitement, um, joy and happiness and, um, you know, fire, you know, I'm feeling all that excitement. 
And then there's this need like deeper understanding, understand what is the truth behind this um, stability, the true stability behind this relationship, understanding the true stability and where this can lead and where this can go. Beautiful. All right. That's what I have for you. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe if that resonated with you. And until next time, the world of Plant Boy. All right, let's get to it. Let's see number two. Where is this relationship headed? What's the future of this connection? This person is feeling a little disappointed, is thinking about past issues or past situations that had happened. Um, they're a little down, but this is not too negative or too drowning of a disappointment. I feel like this is more of a what could have been. I feel like you two have this idea, or at least they have this idea of wanting to plan for the future, wanting to cultivate a future with you, wanting to have a stable future with you. This is somebody who is taking their time, somebody who analyzes and understands somebody and the situation around and knows how to go about that situation. This is somebody who is not afraid to wait, not afraid to be placed on the back burner because they understand patience and I think they understand and they know that uh, what is going to come to them comes with time. And I feel like they have a true feeling of that understanding and I feel like they have an understanding of patience and waiting. There's this sense of waiting and you know, there's that disappointment and that sadness. Like, it's not really sadness, but there's like a sorrow, a small, slight sorrow, kind of like a, uh, like a mourning. But it's like you're mourning something that is transforming. So you can't really mourn the caterpillar because it's eventually going to turn into a butterfly, you know? I'm sensing that type of mourning, that type of separation, that type of disconnect. It's like a... A, transform a transformative disconnect or a transformative separation that is helping you to grow individually to come together as something greater i feel like you guys have this separation or this like little rift or whatever it is i feel like this is meant to happen for their understanding and for you i think maybe it's more for you and they just are there to understand you and be there to support and wait for you or at least be there to understand because this person is interested in starting something new okay whatever happened in the past whatever left them feeling a little disappointed a little sad hoping for something better i feel like that hope is still there they have hope and faith and i feel like they trust in themselves a lot of trust in you and i feel like they trust that waiting and putting in the effort of patience and really being patient with you is going to lead to a new beginning a new future with you i feel like they think that but i do feel like this is the natural outcome of this relationship i feel like the future of this is very understanding and no matter what happens i feel like you guys come together to understand each other and understand what is going to happen like it's not really a confusion it's not really you know somebody walks away and you're like desperately wanting them back i feel like you guys understand what is happening with this whole situation i feel like you guys have a stronger wisdom but it's not like a individual wisdom it's just an, a connection type of wisdom like you guys feel each other and you know and i feel like this is going to lead to something greater whether you are in disconnect or no communication right now i feel like something greater is coming whether it be communication whether it be something you wanted there's something exciting something new something um invigorating i feel like this is going to lead to stability both parties want stability and i feel like this is something that you guys have been moving towards and you are going to receive this is something that is true, something that is real, something that you can um, rely on and depend on, and you can trust your dependence on this person and the situation involved, you know, the whole situation at hand. I feel like this is somebody who you want to be with, enjoy being around, and you feel comfortable, and you feel safe, and um, I think you are striving for this relationship. This is something you are uh wanting and thinking of as your own future and it is becoming reality for you i feel like this person kind of has uh questions on whether this will happen or whether this will return i feel like this person feels like things might not be considered uh real or you might not consider them as something real and tangible but something just as passionate and fun i feel like you guys have that worry 
of whether this stability can lead to something that is also passionate and fun you know i feel like there's a i feel like there's a tipping scale with passion and sex and lust and then stability and trust i feel like it's like one or the other or one person has one or the other and then you guys are trying to figure out if you have the other if you want the other if you've got the other you know like is it stability or is it passion what is it i feel like this is going to lead to you two coming together to talk about what you truly want and desire okay this is like you know what you want you know what you desire you know what you need to do you're considering the decisions being made but the decisions are being made and um things are being done you know the truth is being said i feel like you guys have this sense of like a misguided trust and disappointment but at the end of the day i feel like you guys just truly trust and know okay it's like i feel like you guys get caught up on the idea of like is this something i can trust is this something that is worth it is this something that is happening and i feel like the future is going to lead to a lot of that misguided trust there is this strong sense of like dominance or power over somebody i feel like one person might have more power over the other person I feel like one person might make the decisions for the other person or might be taking control of a lot of things. I feel like maybe you will lose your sight in what you want to do or you will lose your individual self in coming together um, with this person, you know? I feel like that dependence that we were talking about, that can lead to a codependence where you lose sight of what you want and your own decisions and your passions and what you're striving for. I feel like you have to take into consideration who you are before you go into a relationship. Not saying that you don't know who you are, but I feel like a lot of people can get caught up on this new beginning and this excitement, especially if it's super, super stable and super endearing and, um, you know, it's very exciting and dependable. You know, how can you not depend on something that is there for you to depend on so that can lead to losing sight of your own true passions and what you want because you're focused on this person okay or you lose sight of your decisions and what you want that's what i feel that's like a potential future like that can happen so that's something that you should take into consideration moving forward with this person because there's a lot of fun and grounding and trust and i feel like there's true love and joy there is this sense of like misguided trust even though i'm talking about trust and reliance there's this idea of like you're not trusting yourself because you're trusting them too much. Do you know what I mean? Like a misguided self-trust because you trust them so much. Or you trust the relationship so you're losing sight of your own self-trust. Something like that, okay? But it's very beautiful. There's potential for a lot of greatness involved. A lot of uh, reliance and trust dependence. It's just about staying true to yourself and staying true to what you want, okay? Keep this person there because this is stable. But don't focus too much on this where you're gonna lose sight of what you truly want and desire out of life. Your own empire, the two of wands, what you truly want to go towards, your decisions that you're making in life. Passionate decisions, okay? This is passion, self-passion. I love it. There, you have it. I just don't want it to get lost. So, that's what I have for you. You know what to do. I feel like you know, you know what's going on. So thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe if that resonated with you. And until next time, the world of plant boy hello number three welcome to your reading you and this person whoever you're thinking of where is this connection leading towards in the future leading to what's going on where is this relationship headed let's get the future of this relationship hey number three let's get like five cards for you i feel like you and this person have a very happy um, happy-go-lucky joyful relationship you guys are excited about one another you guys um, are very intrigued I feel like there is a deep interest but it's very light-hearted like you guys already know each other you guys already have established that you guys enjoy each other's presence that you enjoy your personality I feel like you have established a relationship a friendly joyous friendship type of relationship that's light-hearted not too deep very fun it's very grounded kind of like childlike you know you're not thinking too much you're just friends and you're just enjoying the moment um even if you guys aren't friends you guys just enjoy each other's presence together okay very comfortable i feel like this very fun interested light-hearted energy is going to lead to something deeper something more serious something that is going to strike 
your heart but this is definitely going to lead to something that is more serious something that is becoming more internal something that is becoming more gets your own internal selves being more serious about this like you guys feel a connection a deeper connection it's not just a joyful relationship it's like something that is it's not just a joyful light relationship anymore it's leading towards something that is more passionate lustful um sexual there's a lot of sexual energy wanting to move forward but it's still that light-hearted playful fun energy i feel like you guys both consider each other options and moving forward you're gonna stop considering each other options and it's going to be something more serious as oh this is not just an option this is not just somebody i'm interested in i'm not trying to see where this is going to go i'm not trying to see how this can turn out you know it's no longer wanting to see if this is going to turn out to be something great there's that light interest excitement of that interest coming from that interest then there's that desire to move forward actually moving forward with that interest and those desires and then there's those things like um those thoughts and those feelings of no longer considering where this is going considering if this relationship is right considering where this is headed there's there's those feelings are no longer there i feel like they really trust in who you are and where this can go um I feel like there is anxiety on your behalf and maybe if you're interested in somebody or if you're considering someone or if you see them the same way but i feel like you guys are no longer considering these emotional aspects it's more sexual like it's not really about um moving forward for romance and love i feel like this is a joyful relationship that is very companion based very friendship based very connection type based so you guys are kind of like friends with benefits it's leading towards a more trusting relationship not it's not very heavy and emotional it's very passionate and fun and light-hearted but just because we have this ace of cups in reverse and because there's not a lot of emotional uh, feelings being brought out that does not mean this connection is not real or this connection is not leading towards an emotional relationship because you guys definitely trust and there's that um balance of having that grounded stability and trusting each other you know having that stability with each other but it's also about having that emotional connection it's not just trusting each other and knowing what this person's about knowing what you can get out of this person and having that stable mindset of who this person is it's about actually trusting their emotions and trusting your emotions with them okay it's not leading to a full-on in love relationship i feel like this is leading towards a connection something real something that is not just oh let's be um this and this let's make this a deeper relationship let's move on to having a uh, becoming spouse and this and that it's not really i'm not getting that i'm getting more of like a trusting like this feels right i feel like i was meant for this relationship in this set of time in this moment i feel like they feel that same way this is a connection where you feel drawn to each other for a reason opposites attract type of thing um you know supporting each other with whatever is going on and i feel like this is something that's very supportive and this just seems like a real connection it's not like you're putting pressure on the end goal you're not putting pressure on having this spouse or this lover i feel like you guys are just lovers you know it's just the lover is there it's not about wanting to become a lover or wanting to become wanting to have a relationship the relationship is just there maybe there's issues with them committing to a actual relationship and that's something that is hard for you to consider but i feel like you like this person they like you you guys like what you're about and i feel like you guys know that you two are stable for each other you know like you guys bring something to the table that is stable and real it's not just like chaotic and lustful and fake and just friendly it's something real you know it's something that can turn into something great in the future it could turn into the 10 um this is something that has potential for greatness and real relationship stability moving forward like marriage moving into a home i feel like that can it can lead to that but there's a lot of um disconnect with emotion and wanting that title of emotion you know i feel like that might be an issue moving forward in the future like having them commit to that title but the connection itself is there
you know it's just the um the slow paced movement it's like they enjoy the enjoyment of moving forward that trust see you as somebody who is very like very uh for them like they see you as somebody that's for them and i feel like you see them as that same type of thing and there's not really that idea of like well we need to be in a relationship because it's just like we are in one we feel this so why do we need to make it something that it's not because it already is you know i'm getting that sense with this person like they're very just like a flowy type person enjoying the moment they are being with you but then once things get very emotional and wanting to be structured i feel like that might be something difficult for them but they love this enjoyment, lighthearted energy, not taking things too serious when it comes to what we're gonna do in the future with our emotions, you know, but there's that connection, that understanding. They will understand, they will come from an understanding standpoint with this conversation, they will know where you're coming from and they will meet you halfway. It's just about letting that, that commitment and fulfillment of love and pure emotion, that kind of is like, not really just in themselves in general like i don't feel like they're that type of romantic like cheesy romantic type of person it's just real and grounded and stern and just there you know something there so if that's what you're into that's beautiful i love that i mean it's beautiful regardless this person is real and their intentions are real they're trusting it's just their emotions are kind of just like not fully there just that's just how they are i feel that's why i said compliments attract maybe you're more emotional so it helps them you know like that temperance the emotion with the stability maybe they're more stern and they're more um, like a rock and you're more like water you know come together to make mud so that's what i have for you number three thank you for watching please comment like and subscribe if that resonated with you and until next time the world of plant boy